This next episode of Georgia in Flight is about Lucius D. Clay, who helped to organize Berlin Airlift. Lucius Dupignon Clay was born April 23rd, 1897, in Marietta, Georgia. His father, Alexander Stevens Clay, was a prominent senator. Senator Clay died when Lucius was 13, and his family experienced trouble after his death. Lucius was able to attend West Point and graduated in 1918. He became an engineer and rose through the ranks. During World War II, Clay became the Army's youngest Brigadier General. During the war, Clay helped manage logistics for the Army. At the war's end, Clay became Commanding General of the Office of Military Government for Germany. In 1947, he was promoted to a four-star general and military governor of Germany. In 1948, the Soviet government blockaded the transport of supplies into West Berlin, and Clay had to find a way to get supplies to the people. He met with President Truman, and they decided to fly supplies in. Major General William Tunney was placed in charge of supervising the massive operation, called the Berlin Airlift. At its height, over 13,000 tons were flown in every day. Because the operation was such a massive success, the Soviets announced the end of a blockade. At the same time the blockade ended, Lucius Clay retired. He received a ticker tape parade in New York City when he returned. He went into the private sector and served as an ambassador to West Germany from 1961 to 1962. He passed away in 1978 and is buried at West Point. Lucius D. Clay's Bay One Airlift was one of the largest logistical feats of the Cold War. Two of his sons became generals in the Army.